last night at 2300, two UH-60 Black Hawk gunships lit the target with over 8,000 rounds. During the sweep, one of the Deltas found something else. I'm an American. Marine Sergeant Nicholas Brody, MIA since early 2003 and presumed dead. Until now. What were his exact words? An American prisoner of war has been turned. You're suggesting that Abba Nazir planted intelligence on his own safe house just so we could recover Sergeant Brody. If he is a terrorist, we need eyes and ears on Brody from the minute he steps off that plane. But out of the question. You think for one minute you get away with this? I thought that once I had some proof. Yes. You've been suggesting that Sergeant Brody's what you think he is. Sergeant Brody, it's an honor. If somebody's trying to make contact with Brody, it'll only happen once. Do you know who this man is? No, I never met him. I'm just making sure we don't get hit again. On behalf of the President of the United States, it is my privilege to welcome you home. home. Homeland, coming this fall. Only on Showtime. Libya's National Transitional Council forces bombard CERT with rockets as remaining families escape Gaddafi's hometown. Gaddafi loyalists still have control of upmarket residential districts in the centre of the city. National Transitional Council forces bombard CERT after weeks of trying to capture one of the last remaining pockets of loyalist control. NTC commanders say they're using light weapons, but government tanks and pickup trucks line the road mounted with rockets. After capturing several key buildings, they say they have Muammar Gaddafi loyalists cornered in the city's center. Some residents are joining the resistance in his hometown of 75,000 people. But most have fled the city, with some still trying to escape. This displaced Moroccan woman said her husband had a seizure during the fighting and her family began praying and shaking when they heard tanks. Unlike the battle for the capital, which rebels took in August with NATO support, the weeks-long fight for CERT is being drawn out by lack of coordination or support from within the city. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, October 12th, 2011, and I'm Darko. Um, welcome everyone, this is my website, uh, www.ggnonline.com, that's ggnonline.com. Also on YouTube, uh, my channel is ddarko2012, that's ddarko2012. Um, I have a poll here, um, it says, do you believe the Occupy Wall Street protests will succeed in convincing government and Wall Street officials to meet their demands, and you have yes, no, maybe, or not sure, and uh, so far we have 50%. Uh, a voter saying no, followed by 26% saying maybe, 11% yes, and 11% not sure. Uh, we have a news archive here. Also, if you'd like, um, you can put in your email address there and get uh, any updates from GGN. Also, GGN uh, has a uh, Facebook group, so you can go in there and, uh, and YouTube's video description, and you can find the link for that uh, global government news group on Facebook. There's uh, almost 80 members. It's about an average of 80 members. Um, but uh, either way, you can also join me on eBlogger. All the uh, articles and the links will be in YouTube's video description in the order that they're presented. So you can go there and check that out. Sometimes there'll be 50 articles and links there. Okay, we're going to get moving here. Uh, these are articles that I've been wanting to cover since October, uh, well, longer than October 1st, but basically for the past three weeks and that. Um, Libya, anti-Gaddafi fighters pounded in fight for cert. So just like that video said, it said lack of coordination. Um, basically, the U.S. and the West, they do want to draw this out. I mean, yes, they would like a regime change quickly, but at the same time, quick, uh, uh, you know, quick conflicts are bad for business. Um, yeah, there's a lot of dead people. You know, a lot of them happen to be, you know, uh, just you know, civilians that don't want to be a part of it, they don't want to support Gaddafi's uh, in administration or regime, um, and they don't want to support NATO and what they're doing, and they just want to be left alone, like those migrant workers from North Africa, um, you know, basically black Libyans, 
and what they were being targeted by these uh, uh, rebel terrorists, and uh, some of them were actually it was there was reports coming out that they were being uh, being stere uh, not stereotyped, but they were uh, being held with no charges, and um, their conditions were bad. So uh, atrocities are on both sides. Also, um, you had the rebels uh, guilty of uh, uh, digging mass graves and putting a, a loyalist uh, to Gaddafi. Um, in there, so and same with Ivory Coast as well. So, Sierra Libya um, anti Gaddafi forces took heavy losses as they pushed Wednesday towards the ousted despot's compound, its birthplace, Sirte, while also being beaten back in its other remaining bastion, ba uh, Bani Walid. And of course, this is uh, funny because they said in there that it was because of lack of coordination. It's also because, like I've reported before, that uh, most of the people in Libya actually support Gaddafi or um, they like him a lot. Um, and now they're actually in a city, in a place where people will resist them and fight. Where they, whereas before, mostly what, in the east, and that, and even uh, yeah, in the east, and that, where all the mercenaries are coming in on boats and that, and uh, all the terrorists, they weren't really Libyans. They were just, like I said, they were rebel terrorists being funded by the West to do what they're doing. To, um, and eventually they took over Tripoli, but now they're having trouble. Either way, NATO bombs hit hospital in Libya's CERT. So NATO carrying out its, uh, quote, humanitarian mission has carried out a new round of airstrikes against Libya, targeting a hospital in the northern... Uh, says here NATO's carried out more than 9,300 airstrikes on Libya since the campaign started in uh, March. That hundreds of Libyan civilians have lost their lives since NATO took command of the airstrikes on March. And I, I've already covered this about NATO taking command. The U.S. is still in command. It says Libyan family fleeing are killed fleeing Gaddafi hometown. So a humanitarian mission pushes forward as two children and their parents were killed by machine gun fire Saturday while trying to flee uh, Gaddafi's hometown of Sirt along with hundreds of other residents. Yeah, like that one individual who uh, said that her husband was having a freaking seizure uh, as the whole thing was going on. As forces loyal to ousted regime uh, or administration uh, engaged in heavy clashes with the revolutionary terrorists surrounding the city. Okay, then we have uh, as uh, uh, as Libyans are having seizures and 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 children are getting shot. Uh, Libyan Jew returns home after 44-year exile. So the humanitarian mission uh, has succeeded. It says McCain, Libya inspires people in China, Russia, Iran, and Syria. So um, amid all the killing and bloodshed, it says seer and pillaging of uh, the Libyan people's resources. It says U.S. Senator and sellout John McCain said on uh, Thursday the fall of Gaddafi was inspiring people all over the world, including citizens uh, of Syria, more like agent provocateurs, and Iran, China, and Russia, but he twined his praise with caution about Libya's many revolutionary armed groups, i.e. terrorists. That's right, they supported terrorists, and now they're saying, oh, now we don't support terrorists, like they supported uh, the Taliban uh, to fight, uh, basically brought them up and empowered them to fight uh, uh, Russia to bring down, uh, quote, communism. That was the, that was the, uh, the said goal, right, to bring down communism. Uh, but really, it was uh, they were fighting over mineral, rich mineral sources that the Russians wanted, and now that the U.S. has, along with their opium. <clears throat> but the U.S. Brzezinski and uh, the CIA basically uh, funded and backed the Taliban, and uh, and now they're terrorists. Now they're bad guys, and uh, so now the Taliban are, are uh, you know supposedly fighting for uh, Afghani people. I'm pretty messed up what's going on over there. Asylum seekers from Arab Spring pour into Europe. So, um, you know, as all this was going on, uh, the NATO and them, they knew, and these roundtables that uh, sit around, these geniuses, these experts, uh, knew that there was going to be an influx of immigrants, people just trying to get the hell out of there so they don't want to be caught in the, uh, in the middle of the takeover of a sovereign nation. And so what happens? We're throwing open the doors to benefit tourists. EU plans to let migrants claim as soon as they enter the UK, and that is blasted. So, And, uh, of course, this is to create a need for a global government body like the European Union or uh, some people call it like the USSR. Um, Anti-Gaddafi commander killed in Loyalist Battalion. So, says, um, oh, and this is uh, just like uh, the other things, too. He was killed, just like uh, um, the American-born, uh, I'm going to cover him later, but uh, basically this man was killed because he was an Al-Qaeda, and he was fighting for the, quote, rebels, revolutionaries that were fighting for the NATO's uh, BP shell um, army. And... Um, 
Yeah, so they took out their front man. They took over. They, they're basically they're taking out like Ob like Osama bin Laden. They're taking out their assets, and they just took out one of their own assets. That's what they did. Libya, Canada intelligence service accused of Libyan interrogation. So there you go. Canada uh, under with NORAD. The commander of NORAD uh, is Canadian. Uh, And basically, the U.S. is still in charge, and um, so don't let them fool you and saying, "Oh yeah, NATO." Um, so we're going to move on here. Fake video of Syrian army deserters I says here to an observer. Uh, they were able to verify that the video indeed was a fake. He said he lives there, and he confirmed that this video was filmed in his region. He uh, recognized one of the army's security agents, and uh, he goes on here and basically says that uh, these people were not uh, anti-Assad uh, people, they were actually or administration, I have to keep stressing that, and it said the soldiers were actually Assad loyalists. Uh, the protest song was added on. Moving on here, just like Libya, Syria opposition launches National Transitional Council, so basically the Western's uh, government puppet regime is going to try to go in there and set it up even though they're still an active government with a lot of support. Syrians rally in support of Assad. So more than one million Syrians have rallied in the capital, Damascus, in support of more than Bashar's Assad's and his former uh, administration regime program. Iran summoned Swiss envoy uh, basically uh, to protest U.S. allegations of Tehran's involvement in a plot to assassinate the Saudi ambassador to Washington. Next up here, Biden, Iran to be held accountable. So here comes all the war posturing by the Vice President of the United States. It says here, Gingrich and all the usual suspects plot to kill Saudi ambassador shows Obama's clueless about Iran. He just doesn't know about the project for a new American century where they basically lie out step by step Middle Eastern countries that they're going to take out. And Iran is on the docket along with Libya and Syria. And um, I think even Lebanon is in there. It says here, a uh, terror plot prompts calls uh, for crippling pressure on Iran. And this is from Eilina Ross Lethrin, uh, basically a U.S. congressman. So she now she's warmongering. It says here, and look at this, she supports this. U.S. bill aims to cut funds to pro-Palestinian U.N. groups. So it says here that the State Department said that cutting U.S. funding would undermine U.S. international standing and dangerously weaken, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, this was her. This was her that was uh, supporting it right there again. And then you go in there and you find out that uh, besides being a strong uh, supporter of Israel, her parents are uh, Sephardic Jews. So it kind of makes sense. It's not really a big conspiracy but uh yeah you know john mccain he's a big supporter of uh israel as well it says iran says ready to help lebanese army without any condition so that's a big deal like i said when i was talking about lebanon and then we have iraq threatens to break military links with and I wouldn't be surprised if they actually allied with Iran. Panetta, U.S. at war in Pakistan. Well, thanks, um, uh, Mr. Panetta. Thank you for uh, telling us, Mr. Former CIA and now Department of Defense uh, Director. Uh, thank you for telling us that we're actually killing people in Pakistan. I, I'm glad you, you had to confirm that for me. Speaking of which, CIA worker linked to Pakistan deaths uh, held in U.S. after fight, and it was over what? Over a bagel in a bagel shop in a parking lot over a fighting sp uh, a parking space. Guys, I just want to throw this out there. I meant to put it in the last video last time, but there was no audio. Was that this type this person right here is also an asset that's being taken out. This is something that he could have gotten a fight and he could have got killed. You know what I'm saying? This type of stuff goes on where there's a little shadow government or whatever you want to call it will do things like this where you'll be going out to the store and you'll get carjacked or someone will know, they'll know how you tick and they'll try to set you off. And uh, in doing so, you'll bring yourself down. That's how these creeps work. Afghanistan opium production is set to rise 61%. <clears throat> U.S. killing Afghan civilians and not militants. U.S. trained Turkish intelligence forces. U.S. strike kills 35 Somalis. Artillery fire, fire kills 36 Somali civilians as well. 96 civilians die in battle for Mogadishu. This is all over the last week. Somali troops kill 36 Al-Shabaab fighters. Then rescued official truck kills 70 uh, Somalis. A Ye Yemeni jet bomb kills 30 uh, soldiers. Please join me in part three. Thank you.